My name is Denver Galloway, and I'm an application engineer with Midwest CAD. Today I want to talk to you about linking an Excel spreadsheet in AutoCAD. AutoCAD functionality is available in AutoCAD, uh, Map3D, Civil3D, AutoCAD Architecture, AutoCAD MEP, any of the uh, applications that are based upon uh, the AutoCAD foundation. So linking an Excel spreadsheet. Um, there's a, a way now to dynamically link um, an Excel spreadsheet where you have bi-directional editing capabilities, uh, meaning that you could edit that, uh, that spreadsheet in Excel, you could edit it in AutoCAD, and it's a live link. Uh, so you can update the spreadsheet from, from, from AutoCAD, uh, as well as updating the spreadsheet inside of AutoCAD uh, based upon any edits that might be made uh, in Excel. So I've got a very simple um, uh, spreadsheet here, and what I want to do is I just want to bring this information into AutoCAD. So I'm going to come out to uh, the Insert tab, and inside of my Insert tab, you'll see Linking and Extraction, and I want to use a data link. So I'm going to grab that data link uh, command, and I'm going to create a new Excel data link. So I'll click on that, and I'll name it uh, my table. And I'll go out and I'll browse uh, for that file, uh, which is going to be located in my documents directory. So I should be able to go and find that in documents. We'll slide down. There's the trim. And um, I'm going to link to that first sheet that we see here. And I also would also have the ability to link to just a uh, named range inside of Excel or to a range of, uh, of cells uh, this way. I'm going to link the entire sheet in this case. So we'll go ahead and click OK. That, uh, that spreadsheet has been linked, and you can see it up here in my Excel links. I'll click OK here, and it's linked. Now, I don't see it in the drawing. The reason that I don't see it in the drawing is because I have not created a table from that data link yet. So inside of AutoCAD, uh, if I come to uh, my Annotate tab, uh, I've got the ability to create a table. And if I select the Table command, uh, I've got an option here to start from an empty table or from a data link. So if I select from a data link, I can come out and select that link that I created, um, and that will generate my table. Now if I click OK, I'm going to have the ability to drop that table in, and you'll see the same information, the same formatting that I had in Excel inside of, uh, inside of AutoCAD here. And if I come in and I look, uh, you'll see if I double click in here, that table, uh, that cell is actually locked. So uh, if I were to right click on that, I would have the ability to come in and unlock that. If I were to unlock that, you can see the, the icon is a little bit different now. I can click in here and I can actually make changes. So, um, you know, BDRM, right? So what I would need to do uh, in this case is go ahead and close out of the document in Excel. And then uh, I would have the ability, if I right click, I can come down here to um, uh, data links and then upload user changes to source file. Right? So that's going to take uh, that information and it's going to update the Excel document. And you can see data link has changed. Uh, the, the change has been um, uh, passed on to the Excel spreadsheet and I can update it in AutoCAD. Everything stays the same here. If I now go and I look at it in Excel, you're going to see that change uh, was made in Excel as well, B, uh, D, R, M, instead of bedroom. So bi-directionally, you can change uh, that, that spreadsheet uh, either within Excel or within AutoCAD. It works kind of like a, uh, a bi-directional XREF almost. All right, so hopefully that was helpful for you. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at support at mwcad.com or training at mwcad.com in reference to this video. Uh, my name is Denver Galloway. Uh, I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you all soon. Thanks for watching.